Well, before we had the instructional focus, it was everybody kind of had their own focus. So each person had something that they that they felt was important, and that was just kind of different throughout the whole building. The difference between the school that I came from and this school is that the teachers seem to be more in tune with where their students are, what their students are doing, and they continuously connect what they're doing in the classroom with the focus, uh, which is comprehension. They make sure that, they're, that they are living up to what that, what that focus is and that they're delivering that focus in the classroom. We have more of a focus now. Uh, we've really created an infrastructure that is woven into the fabric of the school. I see more collaboration. We are more focused and collaboration is more about data and students as opposed to housekeeping and all of those other little things that can distract in meetings at school. This is the first year that I have really been focused and targeted the whole school year on comprehension and it has helped me as to not necessarily just teaching any and everything but I know exactly what the target is and therefore when I present my lessons to the students, I know once again what outcome I want to look at and I measure that through the uh, benchmark test. So it helps me with my teaching. I think teachers feel more empowered now because they've been given opportunities to present in faculty meetings and they feel, I feel that teachers feel more empowered also because they get to share their work with our entire school community. We've had visits from other schools throughout the school year, and so they feel validated in their work. Our school's best practices are the Unravel Technique from Larry Bell. We use story mapping and building academic vocabulary. We came to that also in a brainstorming session. Um, basically, the whole staff, we got together with big chart paper and whatever practice we had ever used, everybody put all of them up on sticky notes and those were the three that showed up the most between, between all of the teachers. And so at that point we, we took those three and those are the three that we've, we've focused on these last couple of years. And, and I think our results, um, especially last year's results, showed, showed how it really improved our test scores by just focusing on those three things. Professional development is more frequent and more focused. Our faculty meetings, which we have every other week, are usually some form of professional development. Uh, the professional development is focused on our three instructional strategies. Like a sixth grade teacher may show us how she's doing making connections. And then the next week or so, if we're still working on making connections, it might be a first grade teacher so that we can see the different range and how it grows. We're beginning to see parents come in, more and more parents come in. And it's not that angry, you know, I'm here because there's a problem. It's parents coming in because they want to come in and be here with their children and see what's going on. First of all, the data walls are actually created by the students. We sit down with each student and we explain the, the, three, the three areas of growth. We have our green who are our proficient students. We have our strategic students that are yellow and most strategic students are labeled in red. First of all, I think it gives them confidence and it, and it gives them motivation to, to want to work hard. Graphing and making charts helps me. It helps me to understand where I need to improve and where I need to study more. And then the places where I could be a little better. Well, we doubled our scores and that made us have the highest growth in the state. What we're doing is hard work for our future, which is our children, you know, and we want our school to be successful. We want our children to be successful. My hope for every student at Academy Central is to achieve at high academic levels, but also to be college ready and beyond. So the skills that they learn here, I hope that they will be able to grow up to be productive citizens and go out into the world and make a difference in the world.